Hey friends, welcome to Friday, the best day of the week, the start of the weekend. I've got some Jersey concepts for you from a designer I don't think we've looked at. There's gonna be a reaction video and it's themed as well. It's called, let me see, counter, counter color series. That's what it's gonna be. I don't know what that means. That could be taking a rival's colors and then you know applying it to, to, to one team. I, I have no idea. We're gonna find out together. It's gonna be a fun reaction video. And uh, I, I'm really excited for it, actually. Um, I'm, I'm overly excited for it. We looked at some WHL jerseys yesterday and it was great but it, it made me want to look at, at, at NHL jerseys again. So it's gonna be a great video, I think. But before we get into it, I just wanna answer one question that I've gotten a ton in the past two weeks. I guess it wasn't technically one question, but it was, hey, Neil, are you selling this jersey? Are you selling this jersey, this jersey, that jersey? And most of the time I'm like, no, 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 here's the jerseys that I'm selling. Cause if you've been watching the videos, I've been selling off my, uh, a piece of my collection, 40 of the 120 and uh, trying to raise money to, to uh, fix my vehicle actually. And I've decided to, to sell a couple of more kind of high baller ones and then a few regular ones. So any of the jerseys that you see in the background right now are for sale. Now you would have already known that the Colorado Avalanche Reverse Retro one is for sale. And the way that I'm going to price these, well, number one, if you're interested, contact me. But if you're only if you're seriously interested, I don't want this to sound rude, but please don't waste my time. <laughs> so contact me if you're interested. But the Rangers Reverse Retro up there, 350 Canadian. Uh, Colorado, 500 Canadian, and you might think that is an insane price. Both of those prices are cheaper than anything that's going on eBay right now. Uh, Edmonton Oilers Reverse Retro, 200 for that. That's basically retail. Um, St. Louis Blues Alternate, that is hand-stitched uh, with uh, Petrangelo on the back, uh, probably in the like, 210, 220 range, something like that. Uh, by the way, all those still have the tags, new new tags on them. The Winnipeg Jets alternate jersey, the the nice blue one, that is uh, pro stitched from the actual Winnipeg Jets team store, and I'm selling that for 160 Canadian. This is all all plus shipping, by the way. And then the uh, Carolina Hurricanes alternate, it's kind of dark back there, it's hard to see, but Carolina Hurricanes alternate jersey for 150 Canadian. So that one's what I say, 220 Canadian. That one's 160. This one is 150. 350, 500, 200, all plus shipping. And uh, as far as sizes, the Rangers is 46, the Colorado is size 50, the Edmonton Oilers one is size 50, the Carolina one is 46, the St. Louis is 46, and the uh, Winnipeg Jets is size 50. So there you go. The best way that you can get in talk, contact with me for these jerseys is likely Twitter. I'm at Post Post Show. But you can also email me if you'd like. It's uh, productions at postapostshow.com. The easiest way to make me happy is to email me and say, hey, I'm seriously interested in this jersey. Here's my first name, here's my last name. Here is my full shipping address. Can you do a shipping quote for me? And I'll say, yes, sir, or ma'am, let's do it. So if you're interested, contact me. Okay, so let's get into these jerseys by Cody. These are done by, actually I think City, City, not abbreviation, team abbreviation by City. So let's get into this. First one is still Anaheim. Let's go. Oh, okay, so it's not rival colors, so counter counter colors this is essentially i think the regular home jersey or away jersey i guess with hey counter colors so that makes that makes perfect sense so that really kind of changes i was i thought it was rivals for some reason but that really changes the game here a little bit which and not in a bad way just in kind of a different way so we've got the make i i love orange and to see it on here kind of like their alternate is this better than the, their home jersey? Yeah, it is. Uh, I like this a lot, actually. If they had this as their home jersey, I wouldn't be pushing for them to change it. So this is a great start. I like this a lot. Uh, you know, the design generally looks exactly the same as their home jersey. So I think uh, just colors are changing. So this might be an easy video for me to say, like, you know, yes or no or whatever. So yeah, great start. Off to the races. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is it. This is counter color. This is awesome. I love this series so far. I would say that, you know, this is good, but I don't think it's better than the one that they currently use. So nothing wrong with this at all. I think I just prefer the other one, but yeah, let's keep going. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> no, this one is gonna be a miss for me. I do like the shoulders though. I will definitely say that. The, the white line on the front. Uh, now, the, the actually the striping in this concept is a little bit different than the one that they currently, you know, physically have. It kind of tapers in over here. This one is more, rigid and the same uh width all the way across but it looks good like the shoulders look fantastic actually i like the neck uh, even though it's yellow i like that or gold whatever but yeah not really a fan of the rest of the jersey just i prefer i prefer the black one okay next is buffalo oh my goodness no i think this one's going to be a miss for me as well for all the same reasons 
you can't do any better than the one that they currently wear at home. The blue, the royal blue, it looks so fantastic and so good. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but it's just not, it just, yellow primary in Buffalo just doesn't work for me. They tried it in the Reebok years, I think it was in 2014, 2015. It didn't work. I hated that jersey, so I don't hate this one. I just I just don't like it. Next is Calgary. <laughs> Three yellow jerseys in a row. Man, Cody, what are you doing to me? This is not bad. Uh, the logo actually kind of pops on the yellow there, or the gold, whatever you want to call that. And uh, the numbers look good. The striping looks good. It's not better than their home jersey, though. I like that one more. Next is the Carolina Hurricanes. Okay, so we've got, yeah, the alternate black uh, on there. This... There's conflicting opinions with the Hurricanes. I listen to you, to your fans. I, I hear your comments, and some of you want, uh, you know, a black primary home jersey, and some of you don't. You like it as the alternate, and you want red to stay as the home. I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm of mixed opinions. I kind of like both, and I don't know if there is a wrong decision. I I would support this decision. This looks good, and uh, I, yeah, I like I said, I'd be on board for this next. Ooh, this almost has to happen. Now the red jersey for the Blackhawks is iconic. Okay. You almost have to keep it in the lineup. You have to transition it to an alternate. You can't just get rid of it. That's like, that's against Chicago religion. So yeah, bring the black into their lineup. Make it a home if you want, but you got to move the red as the alternate. So this is a fantastic jersey. I like this one a lot. Next, Colorado. <laughs> Colorado is one of those teams that I, I always forget which color goes where. And it's stupid because they're one of my favorite teams. But when I envision this jersey in my head, these are the colors that I see. And I have to catch myself and be like, no, that's not these colors. Burgundy's in the middle and blue is on the outside. And I, I hate that I have to do that because I take pride in knowing about jerseys and colors and stuff. But I just, I always forget which color goes where on this jersey. And it's embarrassing to say, but it's the truth, guys. And uh, so this doesn't look unusual to me. It really doesn't. And it totally works. I'm all for this. Next, the Columbus Blue Jackets in red. This is very Washington Capitals, especially with the star on the arm. So I think it does look good, but it's just, it's so close to the Washington Capitals home jersey that I'll have to nix it, but just individually, I, this is nice. Is it better than the blue? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's time for Columbus to maybe consider changing up their uniforms or their jerseys, but this isn't the option, I don't think. This is not the option. Next. Dallas in the black. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. The victory green, it's great. It's fine. But I would love to see them bring black back into their lineup somehow. And this, I mean, I guess they have the alternate. That's the, the crazy neon neon one. I think Dallas Stars fans, for the most part, would be on board for this. But hey, I'm often wrong. So Dallas Stars fans, let me know if I am. Okay, oh, Detroit. It is so weird seeing the home jersey inversed, I guess. It's the exact same. The colors are just inverse, but it feels so completely different, but not in a bad way, in a good way. Now, their, their away jersey is fantastic. It is one of my favorite away jerseys in the league. So this would almost have to replace the away jersey if we're just thinking about these actually coming true. I don't know if it's better, but it is damn good. It is way better than the reverse retro because there's actually, like there's, there's striping and there's stuff going on. Now there is a little bit in the reverse retro, but this is definitely a better version of it. So I would like to see this maybe as an alternate. Edmonton, okay, well this one is incredibly easy because this is just essentially the alternate jersey, which they're going to make their home jersey next year. So this will be, if the rumors are right, this will be the next Edmonton Oilers home jersey next year. So gotta thumbs this one up. Florida, oh. Oh snap, I adore this color swap, this counter color swap. It, there's a lot of blue in the NHL. I just made a video last week or earlier this week talking about what, which colors are used the most in the NHL. And we found out the blue was, was you know, by far almost the most used color in the NHL, especially as a primary color. But with that said, I love this. And I, I don't think it would happen because of the reasons I just stated, but if this did happen, I would 100% support it. This is one of those jerseys that if it, if it existed, I would consider buying two. And that sounds ridiculous, but I would almost want to have one that was stitched so I could frame in a shadow box or something because I like it so much, but then a blank one that I could wear. That That's how I classify this jersey as. It is really that upper tier elite jersey. I don't see a single thing wrong with this. I, I, I mean, their home one now is in the red is so great. 
But this is fantastic. This is at another level for me. So this one is definitely my favorite so far. I love this, Cody. Great job. Okay. Ooh, the Kings. So they have the alternate jersey, which is gray, kind of like this, but not designed like this. I like it. I do like it. I do wish that they would get away from the monochrome kind of color palette, though. But uh, still, I mean, good job, man. These, these are awesome jerseys. Okay, Minnesota. Ooh, this one is definitely going to be a miss for me for two reasons. Number one, uh, there, there is a lot of red in the NHL, and this reminds me of Christmas because they got the green and stuff going on. And with red being the primary color and green being the secondary color, definite Christmas vibes. But the second reason is because the Minnesota Wild home jersey, the one that's the inverse of this, the green one, is top tier in the NHL. It's 100% top three, and uh, I would not want to see it change. So although this isn't like, I don't dislike this or hate this, I just don't, uh, it's not even close to the one that exists. So that's all I got to say about that. Let's move on. Montreal. Okay, well, this is just essentially the reverse retro, which is amazing. So full marks here, uh, and I'm a big fan of this one. Okay, next is the, okay, Nashville Predators. It's very strange seeing the colors swapped here. It's the it's a very similar jersey in every single way, except for the colors, but it feels so incredibly different at the same time. I, I like this. I like this a lot. And I would 100% support this change going back to blue as their primary color, even though, you know, like I said, there's a lot of blue in the NHL. Um, yeah, I fully support this. Great job on this one is, again, Cody. The Devils, this is essentially the exact same Devils jersey that everyone wanted. Not everyone. We'll say 98% of Devils fans wanted. They came up with the alternate. It said jersey across the front. It became a meme. Lots of people hated it. Some people actually loved it. But I think the majority of people, almost 100%, I think, wanted essentially the home jersey inversed as an alternate. This exact jersey. So this is a home run, number one. And number two, it's perfect to fit in with the brand and the team. So... Yeah, I mean, if this if this did exist, I would definitely buy this. Not a massive, massive fan of the Devil's brand, but uh, I do like this one a lot. Those shoulders, just, they just pop, and I love how squared off they are. Okay, moving on to the Islanders. You know what? This isn't actually that bad. The Islanders have used an orange jersey in the past, and it, I mean, it's a bit odd looking at this, but I think, it, uh, I think this is acceptable, especially because, like I said, there's a lot of blue teams. So when we get a blue team switching to orange, maybe that leaves room for... Uh, a different team moving to blue, like the Florida Panthers. So blue out, blue in, eh, I don't know. I would definitely be okay with this one though. There's not enough orange in, uh, in sports in general. So yeah, I like this one. Next is the Rangers. I knew this one was coming, man. You can, in red, it just looks, like it looks right. It looks okay, but it looks so wrong at the same time. I'd be curious to see them do it just, just for the sense of doing it and just so the jersey exists. But it almost feels so wrong. And like right now, they wear red pants at home. As I wore this, would they wear blue pants at home? Probably. It would just be an odd situation. So yes, I want it to exist. But I think I would rather stick with their current ones uh, over this one. Ottawa. Okay, so very close to the uh, reverse retro jersey, actually. The stripe at the bottom of the middle of the jersey is different on the reverse retro. It's up almost like a belt, where in this one, it's down along the bottom. This is great. This is essentially what the uh, reverse retro should have been. I fully support this. And um, if we're thinking about an entire series, Ottawa's one of the teams that would work the best. Like if we're, the whole counter color series, I th this, this team, this jersey is one of the ones that would definitely work the best because it this design, this general design, I think would work good in any color combination. Very minimalistic striping, um, numbers stylized nicely and held on the striping. So yeah, um, any colors you want to throw with this design in general is probably going to look good. So this makes sense. Philadelphia? Wow, this is so different. Like it's, it's obviously not different because the design is the same, but just the color orientation is so not off-putting, but just weird, almost uncomfortable. I, I want to see this. I want to see a physical version of a lot of these. I love this series. I love this series, Cody. Yes, they need a black jersey, not as an alternate like they have. That one's lovely. An alternate that mimics the same kind of style as their home jersey. I would be in support of that. I don't know about the white on the shoulders coming down. But if that was, yeah, if that was orange, I, I don't know. I think you probably did make the right decision here, Cody. Man, love this series. Can't say that enough. Pittsburgh. All right, so almost a mix between their home jersey and the, uh, the gold or, or yellow alternate in a way. I think this is as good as the alternate, not as good as the home jersey. I don't dislike it. It is one of the better yellow jerseys in this series, but uh, 
not definitely not my favorite. It's not going to win this one. If I, you know, at the end of this video, when I go back to pick my favorites, this one's not going to be it. Okay, San Jose. I've, we've seen this in, I think, Reebok years. I don't have this jersey. I wish I did. But I think it was the Reebok years when they had a black version of the jersey. This looks great. I would 100% support this decision. The orange and the, the teal just really pop off the arms and the black. The logo pops off the black as well. This has to happen, uh, regardless of being in a series or not. San Jose, do it. Seattle. Yep. I mean, <laughs> this works. There's nothing about this that doesn't work. Uh, that's a really specific color that we don't have in the NHL. Uh, not that specific shade, I guess. So having a jersey just completely full of it is a, is a win, I think, for jersey collectors and Seattle fans. So I support this one as well. There hasn't been a one I hated, I don't think, so far in this entire thing. I'm looking at the team names. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember any that I hated. Let's keep going. St. Louis. Oh, yeah. I don't like this. I, hmm. I love the shoulders. I love the striping at the bottom and in the arms. But the yellow, it's just, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me. I don't know what else this would be. I don't know what else you would do as far as counter color for the St. Louis Blues. But this uh, this one would be a bit of a miss for me. I, I don't dislike it or, or even hate it, but uh, I, I don't like it. It's kind of, you know, it's in limbo. Tampa Bay, this is all you need to do, okay? If you don't want to change the striping, fine, don't change the striping. But just switch it up, okay? Blue, black, then you make the white blue. That's all you got to do, and we're talking, okay? It differentiates you from the Toronto Maple Leafs. There's not enough black in the east, I would say. There's, there's enough in the west, but not in the east. So yeah, I would fully support this, and uh, man, that looks that looks good, does it not? Like that logo really pops off the black, so this has to happen. Toronto, wow, that's actually quite interesting. I wasn't expecting a kind of a gray version of the jersey. I mean, that looks good, does it not? Like as an alternate, I think I don't know about a homer in a way, but as an alternate, that looks that looks really good. Um, not the best Toronto Maple Leafs concept that I've seen, but. Honestly, fantastic. Next is the Vancouver Canucks. You know what? On with green, there's not enough green in the NHL either. We've got the you know the Minnesota Wild, which is a very very dark green. We've got the Dallas Stars, which is a bit of a lighter green. But having a, a, a lighter shade like this as well would be very complimentary to I think the entire league, as far as matchups and stuff and, and color. This is great. I actually really like this. The shoulder patch specifically looks great on the shoulders. I would fully 100% endorse this decision. I, I can't say this enough, guys. I love this series. This is one of my favorite uh, videos that we've done in a long time. Cody, thank you so much for sending these in. Vegas. Now, here's another one, kind of like the Edmonton Oilers. The Vegas Golden Knights are going with the gold jersey as their home jersey next season. Will it look like this? Not identically, but it'd be very, very close. Basically, the alternate jersey that exists now is gonna become their home jersey, so yeah, I, I like this. I like that gold jersey because it's ridiculous. It's ugly. It's way too, you know, gaudy and just, it's insane, right? It's like, it's so uncomfortable to wear, but that's Vegas. Like the Vegas is bold and they should have, they're called the gold Knights. Why are you wearing a gray jersey? Okay, wear gold, call it a day. Next up, the Washington, wow. This should be the, oh, sorry, it's not the right. I skipped ahead, I apologize. I hate that I'm gonna say this because I keep going back to, you know, there's a lot of blue in the NHL, but this looks so good. And I think it's definitely better than the the red version of this. I would 100% support this. Now it does look like the Columbus Blue Jackets. So maybe if the Columbus Blue Jackets went to red and the Washington Capitals went to blue, you know, that would be okay. But I, I honestly love this jersey. This is a fantastic jersey. It really changes the jersey when you just change the colors. And it shouldn't. It really shouldn't change that much, but it does. And great job. So let's move on to the next one. I've already seen it, a split second of it, but we've got the Winnipeg Jets. This works. I mean, that color is nice. Uh, the logo is fine. I, I kind of, I'm kind of hoping that they do a little bit of a rebrand in the next two to five years. That's what I'm really hoping for. But uh, I would, I would definitely support an alternate jersey or something like this. I already know my favorite. I don't even have to think about it. There's so many incredible ones in this video. Like I could. There's probably 15 that I would just love to have. It's Florida though. Like Florida to me is, I don't know. It's just, there's just something about this jersey. I don't know if it's the specific shade of blue complemented with the red and the white. I don't know. It balances nicely. It's got red on the top and the neck and red on the bottom. You've got red in the middle flowing through. The color on the striping in the background leads right into the logo as well. Numbers on the shoulders, shoulder patch on there, unique jersey. This is a winner.
So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate you. Let me know down below if, listen, if you've got a couple minutes, if you made it this far in the video, chances are you've got a couple of free minutes. Please take those minutes and I need your opinion down below in the comment section. There are so many incredible jerseys in this video. I need your thoughts, I need your opinions. What are some of the bangers? Well, maybe more importantly, because there were so few that weren't that great, what was the worst jersey in this video? That might be the harder thing to decide because they're all pretty decent. Cody, thank you so much for sending these in. I really, really appreciate you. And I, this is one of my favorite series that I've, that I've reviewed on the channel. And I just, I appreciate you so much for sending those in. If you guys want to come up with your designs, details on how to do that is down below in the description. I hope you're having an amazing start to your weekend. If you're new to the channel, we do this every Friday consider hitting the subscribe button. It is free down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Adios.